Hey everyone, Wicked Jado here. Time for another Raid My Bases. Today we're raiding uh, Fairwater Prestige 3 and the raider is Master Cyrax. Okay, so he's bringing a heavy bolter. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's going to be one of those replays, it's not. Just like straight off the back into um, into corrosive there. Let's see, I don't think I've seen. Yeah, I mean, it, I guess like for newer players, like this is technically it's technically a valid path for Harvey, but normally you're not you can't really do this. So I can understand people not seeing it for the first time, um, to have difficulty. Oh. Okay, let's see how he goes. So he triggers the bombs, he does block the bolts, but now he has no shield left for bombs. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was expecting, was the, the bombs exploding just as the shield runs out. The only way it could work, maybe, is um, with Nautilus um, mods. Um, but yeah, un unfortunately, bad luck. Somehow... Uh, yeah, I think he is just getting overwhelmed. He's like pushing too far forward. Um, because what's happening is those blind bolt shots triggering before he reaches the bomb shot. Um, and so he's like triggering double the amount of traps that um, like a slower raider may be able to um, activate. So th this base really punishes you for like trying to go too deep. Unless like your plan is like with a, a res uh, pod. To kind of, yeah, bad luck. He's too focused on the grenades and not about the, the bolt shot. You kind of need to shoot that bolt shot, to be honest. Um, either that or just kind of trigger it and grapple back twice before triggering bombs and so on. All the while trying to dodge those enforcers, which are on like the perfect height there to snipe you. Yeah, if, if this blind bolt shot, uh, I, I'm not sure if he's, um, he's able to kill it in time. Like, I think he's too focused on the enforcers and not... Okay, this is good. If he can, like, poke back, yep. And that'll take care of those bombs. Okay, let, let's slow it right down, because this will be hilarious. <laughs> okay, here we go. I oh, don't die too soon. Please, please. Oh, come on! We were so close. Come on. <laughs> I just want the dead man to kill at least one raider. Please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, dome down. Okay, nice. Yeah, his head was poking out a little bit out of the bubble, so that one, those, those sentries just uh, snipe you with pinpoint accuracy. Okay. Okay, just slow it down. Let's see what he does here. I don't know about this. Okay, shield up. If he throws down a shield dome, which he's trying to do. Okay, I like it. Uh, he's just got the flames to deal with. Those left flames are the things to worry about. There is a cannon back um, shooting him. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Not while the flames are engaged. Bad luck there. 
Um, that that was a really good play by um Cyrax though. I I do like it. Being a bit more aggressive. Let's see if he can try again. It's the right attitude. Um. Yep. So same thing. Now all he has to do is like. Yeah, he's he was just poking out of that dome. I think like maybe if he leapfrogged those um those shield domes um and then kind of move more towards those flames um he might be able to do it. Okay, here we go. Oops. Uh, what got him? I assume maybe flames. I I think his dome went down too late. And those flames got him before the dome activated. So it's something like that. He either activates his shield too soon, um, and then you know throws down the dome too late. So it's something like that. Okay, let's. He's going with the same strategy, so he's confident that it will work. Uh, what got him in the end? <laughs> oh no! The Enforcer was protected inside the dome. So he's like there just... Wow. Sneaky Enforcers. I tell you. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, like, his sh arc barrier runs out too early. Like, he's activating that way sooner than he should be. Yep. Yep, exactly. The bolts are getting in. Um... Yeah, I think if he can, like, delay it by, like, a quarter of a second or even half a second later, activating that shield at the very last minute. He, he's like activating way too soon. And then it... it oh, this looks good though. Okay, he's trying to go for those pistons, and you can see those flames coming, but I think he's just getting overwhelmed and not sure what to do. Oh man, does, does he get the flames? He doesn't quite get the flames. And he's out of bolts. Oh nice. Okay. All you gotta do is move forward. Okay. Oh no. The bomb. Oh. Man, that was such a good run. There's that sneaky cannon back. <laughs> he got his first kill. Love it. I believe. Okay, he's switching up his strat. He's going a bit more defensive. Okay, interesting. Uh, somehow, I wonder if he's out of uh, shield domes. Oh, that's rough. I think he's out of shield domes. Yeah, and I think that's where he leaves it because he he didn't quite have enough kit left to kind of go on, so... Yeah, that's rough. Um, but, yeah, I, th I think he, he that second to last run, I think if he... Um, what could he have done different? So, he launched all of his bolts, and he activated his arc barrier just as the shield dome's going down. I think what he could have done differently is rather than preemptive arc burying um, before like anything happens, wait until like the last minute where you see that bomb next to you and anticipate when it's going to explode and then activate the, the shield barrier. Because otherwise like it's kind of hard to know 
because you don't know the rest of the layout of the base. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Um, we'll, we'll leave it there. So, thanks everybody for uh, watching. If you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, um, it looks like Master Cyrax actually did a second raid. So I'm just gonna gonna tack this onto the the current vision video as well, just to kind of see the full playthrough. Um, so he's still raiding uh, Prestige Three, I believe. Um, Kind of checking it out. Phoenix pod down. Here we go. Okay, shield out. And does he go for the? Uh, he doesn't quite get his his um shield ran out, and he spawns into a corrosive cube. So bad luck there to Master Cyrax. Just straight back into it. Shield out. And does he get his dome down? He does throw it down. Okay. Now, don't forget to throw down a phoenix. <laughs> Although here's probably not the best place to put it. Okay. Looks like he's stabilized here. If he can just get out of the way of this cannon back. Yeah, he's got to watch those cannon back bombs. Oh no, this could be a huge mistake. Okay, and activates his arc barrier. Nice work. Okay, so he's past the hard part. Now on to the second part. Okay. Wants to take that cannon back out. Just misses. Okay. He's preventing the cannon back from actually getting vision, so it's kind of smart. Um, but he only has one bolt now. So he's in a little bit of a trouble. Oh, and misses the cannon back. This is bad news. Okay, but the cannon back with his vision, uh, misses, so that's good for Master Cyrax. Ooh. Okay, he's in terrible shape at the moment. He doesn't have any bolts to help him out. <coughs> okay. Ooh. Yep. Okay, and back's back, wise. He needs to get at least one bolt to be back in business. Okay, he's got his bolt. Okay, the question is what's he do now? Can probably take that sentry out. Yep. Nice. But he's he's two bolts down, so this is pretty still pretty bad to be honest. He has no idea where the other two bolts are. Okay, he does get lucky and pick up his second bolt, so that's probably good enough um, to keep going. He really wants his third bolt though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's probably just checking out, seeing if there's... 
Oh, you might actually try to grab it from outside, okay. That's worth it, in my opinion. I, I think that's a smart play. If he can grab it from the outside, I think he should be in good shape. Um, I don't believe I insulate the base, um, so he should be okay to grab it from the outside. Picks up the last two. Uh, or second to last two. I think this one's still down there. But he, he doesn't grab the bolt, so maybe he forgot to grab it, oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's keep going. Yep, so here's the warmonger there. Okay, and down to gen map. Here we go. Okay, phoenix pod down, but that's actually going to disable. It, that's actually a bad play by Master Cyrax, because that will immediately destroy itself. Here we go. Oh, and let's... there we go. Gets taken out by the dead man. Bad luck there. Okay, and that's a reset. That's why you need to wait to throw down your Phoenix pod um, after you grab the the gem map. Okay, straight back into it. Okay, activates his shield. Okay. Okay, and throws down the the shield dome. Takes out that flame trap. Get the cannon back. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, and gets sniped by that enforcer. Bad luck. And he doesn't throw down a um, Phoenix pot either. It's bad luck to Cyrax though. Okay, shield going down, he's take out that flame, the pistons block his shot there, okay, should be right to shoot the flames, man, it's so hard to see, okay, uh, it's, oh, I don't know about this, yeah, he just got unlucky with the timing of that grapple and the the cannon backs bomb, so the cannon backs just launching grenades just just shy over that um, shield dome there, so bad luck. Okay. So, but he at least has a strategy now, like I, I think he's pretty consistent with his play here. Takes out the piston and takes out the flame. Okay. Um, all he needs to worry about is that cannon back bomb. So, uh, and the piston, as long as he, he's out of the range of that. Nice. Okay. Throw down your phoenix pot. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Okay, takes out that cannon back. Dodges the the enforcer there. Okay. Just cleaning up the rest of these traps. There is still an enforcer, so he, he has to be a little bit careful. Otherwise he's gonna 
jefe. Okay, just playing it nice and slow. Oh, this is bad news. He's down to zero bolts. So he does need to go grab one. Oh no, the double! Wow, he got lucky there. Oh man, he should just take out the sentry, it doesn't move around. His arc barrier was on cooldown there, so it's a little risky play. But he does have two bolts back. So he should be able to take the sentry, yep, and then take out the um, enforcer there. Okay. Yeah, nice. On to second wave. Now I'm not sure how much he saw of second wave, so let's see how he goes. He, he knows about the dead man, but again he makes the mistake of throwing down his um, Phoenix kit. So it's a little bit of a misplay there. And you can see it deactivate there, right there. So. Okay. Here comes the the warmongers. Okay, and dodges past them, so nice play there. You can hear them like just inches away. Wow. <laughs> okay, get the hell out of there. Don't oh my goodness. I guess he doesn't know what's coming up, so it, it does kind of make sense. Takes them all out, so nice play there. So I think, <laughs> okay, Phoenix pod down, just in case. It looks like he makes it out, so with that, thanks everyone for watching. If you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next one.